It's the journalism class at Oak Park High School. I knew that you are. Like you're, you are. Where they work on the school newspaper, where text messaging is on the board as a possible future story. You're not supposed to text in class. Well, I mean, everyone does it. <laughs> it's school policy that cell phones are to be turned off during class. I text a lot, but not as much as some. <laughs> so, what's a lot? Well, um, in the past two weeks, um, in my outbox now, I've sent 3,000. Well, last month was about 6,000, but this month they'll probably be like two or three, maybe. I have unlimited, so... Uh, last month it was 7,000. But anyway, anything else? And then there's Andrew Correo. Listen to this. Yes, in last month I said 11,263. <laughs> 11,263, I think. That's 11,263 text messages in one month on that phone. Text messaging is nothing new, but in the last three years, cell phone companies have made it inexpensive. It's now the way teens talk to other teens. So if I'm just saying some, something to someone and I'm joking, I'll just say, JK, just kidding. Or if I'm about to leave, I'm going to go to the bathroom or something and I'm going to come back, I'll say BRB, which means be right back. I think a lot of it is just a generational thing. So Teacher Christina Gebhardt has followed the trend. Okay, now the next question. How and how a whole new language has developed, a sort of text message shorthand. Abbreviations like OMG and PAW and TMI mean, oh my God, parents are watching and too much information. And there's dozens more just like them. But when these codes show up in actual classroom work... It's a little frustrating. Derek Knoll is an Oak Park English teacher. Well, you know, you see the number two instead of T-O um, or T-O-O -O or T-W-O even um, in just inappropriate places. Teachers also watch for cheating by text message. I know a lot of teachers are worried about cheating and how easy it is for one kid who can be taking a quiz right now to text to the kid who's going to take that quiz next block. And what hey. do you do about that? Um, for me, I make sure that there's nothing on the tables when they're doing it. Probably about a hundred, maybe 75 to 100. In this school and others, it's a use it and lose it policy. Get caught using a cell phone during class and teachers will take them away. Now to answer those cheating concerns, we actually heard that some schools block cell phone signals within a building. We couldn't find a high school anywhere in our metropolitan area that did so, and then we found out it is actually illegal to do so under federal law. And in the North Kansas City School District, they say they really don't want to because principals and assistant principals also carry cell phones within school buildings.